What's up guys, Galaxy S3 Motor here, and I am back with a review of the Liquid Smooth 4.2.2 ROM. Now this is the 2.4 update of this ROM, so it has a lot less bugs. But I mean, there's still a few bugs in the ROM, but it's overall a really good ROM, has a great battery life, and it's just very smooth. Alright, so let's get into it here. You can tell that we have a nice 4.2 lock screen. We have the little toggle for uh, torch and then we have a lot of other widgets that we can add into the lock screen and you can show all widgets here everything alright we can go back and you're in the ROM alright let's go over here so as you can see here very smooth transitions very smooth transitions and as you can tell I have all my things in here let me just swipe that notification away Right. Yeah, let's focus in here. There you go. Very smooth. Now this is using Nova Launcher. So you can see Nova settings right here. And you can go let's go into system settings. Let's just show you the system. Now here you have wireless, which is basically everything normal, except you have this thing called dark liquid. I don't know why it's in wireless, because it doesn't affect anything with due to that has to do with wireless, but it does change the look of the overall device. So if I have it on because I prefer it to be on, but if you turn it off, everything gets grayer. See how it just got gray there? That's because of dark liquid. And it changes like the style of the keyboard and that kind of thing. Alright. So let's go back here. You have customize. You can go to interface. And you have a bunch of little interface things like what the hardware keys do. Custom actions. I don't have any custom actions because I, I just don't need them. And you can do the LCD density and tablet mode and that kind of thing. Alright, so if we go back here, we can go to lock screen, and like the battery status, and the custom wallpaper, and the text color, that kind of thing. Targets, you can play through targets. See, I only have lock, as you can see right there. But I choose, let's go over here, and say that I want an app, let's say I want Chrome. Okay, so we're going to lock the device. And as you can tell right there, we had CRT animation. And we can go here. Let's see if I can move my hand. No, I guess. Oh, I'm sorry. I didn't save it, guys. My fault. Save. Lock screen target saved. There we go. We go back in here. See, it's my other hand. See, and we have Chrome. So we can go straight to Chrome. If you want it. Alright. As you can tell here, we have all of our recent apps. I love the little animations that they do. If you hit clear all at the bottom down there. The way it wipes it away, I love that animation, like in the stock Galaxy S3. I'm not a big fan of the animations, to be honest with you. Well, because there's no animation at all, it just wipes it away. But I, I prefer this, after getting used to it. it just kind of swipes it away, and it goes back there. I love that. And you can have, like, up here, you can have different toggles, or different uh, extensions, I'm sorry. You can have Gmail, weather, missed calls, that kind of thing. Now, I, I currently have my Gmail, my text messages, and the weather on here. Alright, the camera. Let's go to the camera. You have stock 4.2 camera. Let's point it over here. This is my desk. Alright. Let's see if we can get a better view over here. Let's see. There you go. See how I have my desk and my monitor right there? for my computer. Alright, let's get out of here. Basically, you have all the settings that you normally do. You have screen mode, that kind of thing. Burst mode, touch focus. Just a stock 4.2 camera. This ROM also comes with the stock 4.2 gallery. But I'm not going to show you my gallery, because you guys should know what, a ga what the gallery looks like. Now, obviously, I installed some apps. This ROM does not come with all the apps that you see here, like Real Racing 3. I installed these from the Play Store. This is because I use this ROM all the time. This is, like, my ROM that I use constantly, the Liquid Smooth. I didn't even show you guys that in the settings. I apologize. 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 Here. It's an Android version 4.2. Liquid Smooth 4.2.2 Jelly Bean. You can play with the beans. All right. It is running Lean Kernel. It's a pretty good kernel. I like the kernel. And this is the build number. Alright. Look at smooth version. Version 
2.4. If I'm going to give you guys a link in the description to download this from if you guys like it, but I'm not going to give you a link to anything below 4.2. The only stable ones, I mean, they're released as stable versions 2.1 and 2.3, but those seem to be very buggy. I've had a lot of bugs with that ROM. So I wouldn't recommend you guys, like, starting off with those. But, whatever. And it comes with a lot of the major carriers. Once again, oh, I don't even think I told you guys. But I am on T-Mobile Galaxy S3. Alright, just letting you guys know. Alright. Back in the settings, though, you have basically the same settings. You lose all your motion stuff stuff with touchways, but that's pretty pretty obvious. You can basically change your quick settings, like your toggles that you have. I have the quick toggles right here. But if you go over here you have different uh toggles that you can just play with like the Wi Fi and that kind of stuff. Like the rotation, fast charge, that kind of thing. And if you hold this it takes you just back to your settings. Alright. And then your uh, status bar lets you just customize the color and stuff, like the battery icon. You see a, see my battery icon up in the corner there. So you just want to go here. We can go dotted circle. Let's see here. Come on. Come on, focus. You can do it. There you go. See? There you go. 65% battery. You can change that again. Let's just go mini icon. Circle, no percent. That kind of thing. You can change the color of it. I prefer that, though. Alright, let's go. You can... I themed everything. I just like it blue. I like it looking like a Nexus. Because that's just what I prefer. And if you can tell from my last video, I deleted my last video. Because I started a... made a new account. But... This camera, it's... I'm running... I'm taking this video on a Galaxy S3. Because this is the best camera that I have. So I'm just kind of propping it up and taking this video. I need a new camera though. I'm sorry guys. Oh, sorry. But yeah, that's pretty much all that's in this ROM though. It's basically... It's... If you guys have ran Super Nexus, it's basically like Super Nexus but with more customization. But yeah, that's pretty much it for this ROM guys. If you guys want to see more reviews of Galaxy S3 ROMs. I will be doing more in the future. And if you guys are interested in uh, going to my website, that will also be in the description to see uh, like all the ROMs that I review and download links to all my ROMs. That's great as well. And if you guys want to send me an email at galaxyS3modder at gmail.com, go ahead. If you guys want to give me little, like tips on something to do, uh, different ROMs to review, I'm always always open to suggestions Subges suggestions I'm sorry guys I can't sleep today I can't speak today god dang I'm sorry guys alright so let's go thank you for watching my video and I hope to see you guys in the future thank you